so my name is Michael Harvey, and I perform under I the camera? under the name of Harvey. Um, and I've been a professional full-time player for two years, and I, well, I've been playing since I was a little kid. Sound brother, if you only knew, you'd be wishing you were in my shoes. You better keep on using me until you use me up. Um, the last two years I've been living off recording and performing, and I, I play a little all contemporary style, so a lot of folk and um, rock and roll, jazz, funk, and I've got a couple of albums. Uh, well, SoundCloud's free, uh, YouTube's free, and Spotify is fairly cheap to get the music distributed through Spotify. Um, a lot of high profile musicians don't like Spotify, and slowly more and more musicians are using it, but there was a period there where a lot of major bands weren't using Spotify because they didn't agree with the royalty structure. Um, I think those services are great, and I use Spotify as a consumer and as a tool for sharing music. I like Spotify. So I live on Geek Feeds primarily. Um, I get a little bit of money every year from APRA. APRA and Cross are fantastic. Um, so I get LPRs, which is a little Christmas bonus every November. Um, the economic strategy is pretty simple. Just work a lot and get out there and play. <laughs> So APRA MCOS, uh, an overseeing body for a lot of royalty business, um, and they're great. In the last two years I've registered some songs and I've been giving a lot of paid, some, some income from performance royalties. I haven't made much income from um, production and composing royalties and seeking and stuff. I have written a couple of songs and sold them. Um, the copyrights are there for musicians to work with the legal system and often if you keep track of what's going on, they're there to protect you as well. So uh, as I get older I realise just how important copyright law is and how to use it to uh, look after your career. I've, I'm an emerging artist, I've given away a lot of my music and when friends or friends of friends ask for songs to sync to their videos, I just let them use it because I'm at the stage where I'm just happy for people to hear my music. Now, since everything's gone completely digital, uh, now it's all about streaming. Um, and I, I don't know, I, piracy is, is an issue. It's, um, and a lot of artists now, big bands like I saw an interview with the Black Keys, Dan Auerbach, the singer, he was saying that most of his income is still from getting out and playing tours. Uh, so a, like, a lot of musicians have reverted back to the old model of getting out there and selling tickets and making you come that way. Um, because now people will just stream your music for if they pay for the service or if they pay the $3 a week or what have you. Um, the first thing I've learned really is to get your head around how copywriting works. Um, I'm only just starting to push out more and more music so it's starting to affect me more. Um, I think copyrights uh, are there just to avoid conflicts when money starts coming in and products have been used. Like when it's, you, you make the agreement uh, before the song is out, or who gets what. So I feel like having those meetings with all the, the people that um, have written the song is really important, and then they everyone gets their share when the music sells. In terms, like I, I think it's up to artists and their managers to negotiate a financial copywriting portion um, before the music's released and that's what artists, everyone's very protective of their own work so I think artists are already doing that because um, if you're slaving away for months on a song you want, the, you, you want to enjoy any income that comes back from that. Copyrights are there to protect intellectual property and give people um, ownership of it so uh, I think mainly they're really good.